and welcome back to my channel um please there's dean making a small appearance and i went ahead and <laughs> filmed the look that you guys were asking for from father's day this is the completed thing now this is a little different than my usual videos it's not like a complete um tutorial on my face and so on and so forth this is just strictly the eyes and i went ahead and did one eye and then i did the other one off camera so that's probably why they're a little funky actually but um yeah so i went ahead and did that for you guys and i hope you enjoy it this is not sponsored but i did use the profusion palette from uh the wanderlust palette from profusion i can't speak today so yeah if you want to see how to get this look just keep watching please subscribe if you haven't already Make sure to click that notification bell so that you know when I post. And then you can see Dean a little bit more often. Okay, let's jump right in. Okay, so I am leaning forward <laughs> so I can go ahead and do this. But if you see me looking up all weird, my mirror is right up in here. So I'm probably just going to do it this way. So I'm going to lean in when I do my makeup from here so I can see. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so first I went ahead and primed my eyes with my Illuminati from Wet n Wild. If you see me glance this way, Layla's outside blowing bubbles. So I am going to go ahead and if you hear voices, as always, Layla's here. Um, I'm at my mom's filming. In case you were wondering, I can't actually film at my house right now because of all the baby stuff in the bedroom and then also, um, I think I used a little too much. And also just, it's, it's chaos. After you've set your concealer, actually, I have to set my concealer. I use the color Tranquil. It's the bone, it's not quite bone color, but it's the matte neutral. It's just like a white, not a white, kind of like a soft skin color. I don't want white on my lids. So the palette actually does come with a brush, and as you can see, mine is kind of full of purple right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as is, I think. I just need to take the purple off. Okay, okay so first you're going to pick up the color. First, I'm picking up the color <laughs> Go Girl. It's the kind of, I would say it's like a fuchsia color. So I put that, and I'm gonna use that all over my crease. Just in the crease. So I picked up a little bit more of that color and I dusted a little higher, just a little bit to add that gradient from it. And all my kids are going crazy at once. pick up the color Regal. It's the kind of purpley pink right here in the palette. And I'm gonna pick that color Regal up on the tip of my brush and I'm gonna put that just a little bit lower than that pink color. I'm the Go Girl. Okay, and after that's done, I'm actually going to, now one thing I've noticed with the um, shimmer shades in the Profusion palettes, they work good with a brush, but I find that they work way better with your finger. So I'm going to pick up the color Gravity. It is a duochrome purple blue situation. It's so pretty. I'm going to pick up a little more of that because I'm going to put it on my face anyway. So it's kind of duochrome. And I actually put that from the inner lid through to the purple. So Get long nails. This is going to be interesting for me. Okay, so once it's done, pick up that other brush and go ahead and make sure there are no harsh lines. So I'm going to just do this. I'm actually going to pick up a little bit more of that gravity and put that out. More. I will say these don't work wet. That's the one thing I don't like about Profusion. Their, their shimmers don't work well wet. But that's okay. Because they're really pigmented when you use your finger. Okay. And then that flat, sh that angled shader brush, I'm going to pick up that color retro again. Fix that corner. And then I am actually going to take that Profusion brush one more time and I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that pink because I'm not finding as much pink up here as I want. So, take a little bit of that and just... Okay. And that brush without anything on it. Okay. Now, for an inner corner highlight, I'm going to pick up the color Frosting. It's the white, blue, silver color. I wanted something to stand out and gravity because we found the 
It's not saying like I want it to. There we go. Okay, and then for a brow bone highlight, I'm going to roll my eyes at my son. And I wanted a matte brow bone highlight, so I went ahead and used the color Tranquil again. It's like a neutral color. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye, and then I will be right back to do my lower lash line. Now that both eyes are officially finished, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I finished. What I finished? What I used to finish my face. Or whatever chain. I need two chains. Okay. So, for the lower lash line, I pretty much just copied what I did on the top, except for the um, gravity color. But I'm going to show you how I did it, because I just want to. So, I picked up first on a flat, very flat brush. I picked up the color Go Girl and I pushed that really close to my lash line. Am I lying to you guys? I think I'm lying to you guys. I know what I did. <laughs> I did this differently. So, I did not take Go Girl first. I used Regal first, even though I, so I went ahead and used that purple color right there, that pinky purple. So I picked up a color Regal and I actually pushed that really close to my lash line. That's the one I pushed close. Inner to outer corner. Okay. Now after on that retro, I actually picked up the my Wet n Wild brush, my little flat brush, and I picked up the color Go Girl and that's when I pushed it close to the lower lash line. I actually used this to kind of blow out the rest of it. I said before this is a really simple look it kind of makes me think of cotton candy in a way i don't know maybe it's the blue i went ahead and did that and then i took that really flat shader brush again and picked up the color retro and i put that really close to my lash line but i only put it from mid to outer corner You can totally wear this with falsies. I would on a normal day, but I did not for Father's Day at all. Um, sorry, my mouth's getting dry. So I didn't for Father's Day at all. I went ahead and just threw on some brow gel and some mascara. And for mascara, I went ahead and used the Luminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal, of course. And I like the way this looked because I really wanted to show off the eye color itself. Like I just really wanted the eye look to speak for itself. I didn't put on my mascara both top and bottom and because I didn't want to wear actual eyeliner I went ahead and did this I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish my face off camera and then I will go ahead and let you guys I'll go ahead and complete this video <laughs> okay so I went ahead and finished my face and this is the final eye look if y'all have any questions please let me know but yeah, I loved creating this, and like I said, I am obsessed with Profusion palettes right now, like the Wanderlust. So I am obsessed with their palettes. I went ahead and picked up the Sapphire palette to go ahead and do a blue look for you guys, and of course I'm going to throw in some from the Wanderlust palette, but I am thinking about picking up the Festival palette, which is the new one that I've seen online a lot, and it's got a lot of different colors because I wanted to do different color looks. But yeah, that completes this look. I hope you guys had as much fun creating it or watching me create it as I did creating it originally. So yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time in my videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.